Hi, Winco families. This is Mr. Josh. I just wanted to give you a video demonstration of what your student will be doing every day, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, for their online courses. They should begin the day by going to classroom.google.com and hitting enter. And they're going to choose their account and I have a student account created just for this demonstration. And I'll enter my password. And I see here I have my one class that I put myself into. Um, if this is your first time you'll notice that there would be a join button down here that you would press and then it would automatically put you into the class uh, that your teacher has invited you into. So I'm going to click on Algebra 1, and under my stream, you see I have a link here for my Zoom classroom that I'm going to enter in a moment. That Zoom link for your daily classes would either be here in the stream or up here in the upper menu. So once again, the link that will take you to your classroom is either in the stream or here in this bar underneath the main Algebra 1 or whatever class you're in theme. Okay. Also in Google Classroom, you can see we have assignments that are posted that you can work on. You have your calendar for due dates and you can also have your class drive folder. Also under apps, if we go there, notice you can access your, at, your email, your calendar, your documents, Okay, so there's all things that you can use for free under your Google account. But I'm going to go back to the stream and I'm going to join the class that I have set up for this demonstration just by clicking here. And I'm going to follow the directions and I'm going to hit open Zoom. And each time you'll want to hit join with video. Now it puts me in a waiting room and I have to wait for the instructor to let me in. So I'm going to do that on my other laptop. Okay. And you see it opens up this little window here, which I can expand by hitting the full screen button. And this is our virtual classroom that we're in. This is the instructor, me, and this is my student right here. Uh, notice that the little mute button is on. All classes are muted to begin with. The teachers will unmute the students as need be during the class. Uh, one of the things that your teachers could be showing you during a class is a PowerPoint pre presentation that they would share with you. And I'm gonna give you an example right now. And as you see, you can follow along with the teacher as they go through the lesson and all of your notes for the day. At any time, if you need to work alongside with the instructor, you can go here to where you see view options and you exit full screen. And now you'll be able to move this off to the side. And let's say if you need to open a Google Doc to work along, you could go in. And start working along while also going down here and opening up to see if you need anything. And you can return back to the full screen just by hitting this blue arrow and then the full screen. And now we're back in.
Okay, at the end of class, you would hit leave meeting down at the bottom. And this will exit you back out to whatever screen you were on. And you would follow the same process for each of your class. You would return to Google Classroom. You would go to your classes and click on your next class whenever you're scheduled and go into the meeting. So we've covered Google Classroom and we have covered Zoom. Also, we should talk about GradeLink real quick. I created a fake student account here and gave myself a schedule. And I'm going to log in. And on the first page, you see we have an announcement here announcing that we're going online. And this is our new schedule for Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And any information that you may need for you or the student is right here on the first page. If you go to the schedule button, you will see the student schedule. Okay. Notice here there are two period fours. Okay, that's because on Monday and Thursday, physical science meets, but on Tuesday and Friday, health meets with Mr. Benny. There is no first period. Most students have four out of the five class periods. So they may have a one period break in between. There are 10 minutes between each class period to give the students a chance to take a little break, to use the restroom, to get a snack, and then move on to their next class. Under assignments, you can see the assignments that were assigned and any grades that the student may have. You may also go under alerts and change whatever you want to be emailed about. Uh, if you do not have your grade link information, please make sure you email myself or Mr. Mark and we'll be able to forward that along to you. I hope this helps a little. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to any of us. It's a learning experience for us all. So we're all going to have to exercise some patience at the beginning, but I have complete confidence that with the staff and the students, we're going to make this a successful experience for everybody. Thank you very much.